right you're here for one reason and one reason only to see the solutions to the cape it unit one 2022 paper which i anonymously found in my inbox about this morning the lie again lie 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 you want to know if you got your questions right well let's see i have not done this paper before well i didn't really look at the questions i kind of skimmed through the paper and um associated everything that they told me that it had in it and i was like okay this is what they were talking about for that this is what they're talking about for that so let's see if i can answer the questions and think of the best answer so we begin keep it unit one people two let's go module one fundamentals on information technology remember this is the new syllabus all the papers from 2022 2021 back would have had 225 mark questions this paper had 215 mark questions and apparently some students finish it really quickly all right so over a three-week period in january 150 customers were surveyed about a shopping website the report was made available in april it stated that customers were recommending the locally made t-shirts to their friends also 86.5 percent of the customers requested personalized t-shirts comments about the clothing included reasonable and innovative nice explain two differences between qualitative and quantitative data well this is a standard question that is asked every single time yeah this is usually a standard question so between qualitative and quantitative, qualitative to so explain two differences. So let's say different number one, qualitative has to do with the look and feel, has to do with the data collected to qualitative 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 data varies from person to person while quantitative quanti oh, why can't i spell quantitative wow this is rough quantitative is fixed is a fixed numeric value is a fixed numeric oh i forget how to write a value right so let's see um yeah that like like it there qualitative has to do with the look and feel while quantitative has to do with the data collected qualitative data varies from person to person while quantitative is a fixed numeric value you can't go wrong there four marks we will take it we will take it all right that's an easy four marks there so chances are it's late in the night and you're watching this past paper video hoping that you get the answers to the past paper that you've been looking for for all this time and you're happy that it actually exists on youtube well don't leave it up to the youtube algorithm to show you the rest of um, answers i have an app that's called learn it by make it simple tt and it has all the past paper answers in chronological order for the past especially since they give it a long paragraph for each of each type of data quality of quality of identify one example as found in the report that's all, boy. I thought there'd be more. Quant, quanti, quantitative. Wow, qualitative. All right. So, quantitative. That's really easy. You have one hundred and fifty customers. Yeah, eighty-five, eighty-six point five percent. It just look for a number. So, quantitative one fifty or 85.6 percent cool qualitative will be anything that they think about that they feel you know a certain way about and um um anytime you say reasonable and innovative cool yeah use the adjectives 
reasonable, innovative. Because what is reasonable? What's reasonable for you may not be reasonable to me. What is innovative to you may not be, you know, um, yeah, something so. That is the part B, right? Good. Now for part C, outline one example of knowledge that could be interpreted from the report. Ah, all right. They, they put some effort into this question here. What's the knowledge I could get? So over a three-week period in January, 150 customers were surveyed about bought a shopping website. The report made a, in, was made available in April. It stated that customers were recommending the locally made t-shirts to their friends, although also 86% of the customers requested personalized t-shirts. The knowledge is that they should start to offer more personalized t-shirts next year because it's April. Yeah. So the knowledge I could apply would be, okay, you have the data, which is 86.5% wanted personalized t-shirts. So you put the 86.5% and the personalized t-shirts together, you create information. From that information, if 86 people want personalized t-shirts, then the knowledge would be, we should start to offer more um, personalized t-shirts. So, um, Example of knowledge that could be interpreted for in the report is they should offer more personalized t-shirts when they sell again when they sell again because 86% All right, so knowledge is you take the information and you apply it to some sort of future decision So they should offer more personalized t-shirts when they sell again and well, they could say that they're selling um Yeah, it was made available in April. They stated our customers Customers are recommended locally made t-shirts to their friends also customers requested personalized now you could try to fight this one here where customers were recommending locally made t-shirts to their friends and say that okay they should start to make more locally made t-shirts that is cool it's just that i can't find the data that matches to create information there the, the it's clearly showing that 85 86 percent is the data and when you put that in context of personalized t-shirts, you get information. For this one here, customers were recommending the locally made t-shirts. I can't find any data because it just said, it stated the customers were recommending, but it didn't say how many customers. So I don't think that'll be the best answer there. Um, um, yeah, so if you say, you know, they should offer it more, um, anything that could apply. Knowledge is about application of the information I have. So if you talk about they should get more personalized or their profits could be higher, things like that, yeah, you should be okay there. You should be okay. I don't see a problem there. All right, see the type of information source that was included in the report and give two examples of the source. Oh. 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 The type of information source. Over three period, customers were surveyed. Yeah, when you do a survey, the type of information source, information sources, this would be a question here? No. The type is a primary. It's a primary information source because it comes directly from the person, right out of the, out of the horse's mouth. Nobody is going to take it and gather it and produce any results. And give two examples of this source, right? Questionnaires, interviews, observation, and you could also turn the review of document. That's usually the line that they always wanted to go along something something so all right next using examples evaluate the reliability and timeliness of the information in the report oh nice reliability and timeliness okay so let's go up and see what we have inside the report here what will make this reliable 150 customers will say about a shopping website the report was made available in april oh, was made available in april so therefore it's not timely Customers are recommending over a three-week period. Okay, so if it's a three-week period, that means the reliability should be high because they got a, got a lot of data. If they got a lot of data, it'd be more reliable. So there we go. Yeah, that, those are our two clues there. 
Reliability. How much marks is this? Four marks. All right, cool. So reliability. The data would be considered reliable because the survey survey was done over a three week period giving it a wide sample space yeah let me call that yeah wide sample space or wide um, wide amount of data large amount of data whatever you want to say right good <clears throat> that's reliability next is timeliness time time l i n e yes that's right timeliness the data was taken in january but reported in april that is not very timely because my crap of handwriting is probably annoying by now there is a lot of room for things to change um, in three months. Hey, I use up all of the lines. No, I miss. Oh, damn! I was so close. I was so close. I almost use up all of the lines. Just a bit more. All right. That's number one. Number two. Identify the type of signal as represented. This is called analog. This is called digital. This is called a key question. Give away marks. Which signal represents the sound of an ambulance? The ambulance is sound that's going. Let's go up and down. Because it goes up and down, it's clearly analog. Because it's an analog sound. Say the meaning of VoIP and give two examples of popular VoIP applications. Look at space they give you for that. Wow. Voice over internet protocol. Give two examples of popular VoIP applications. WhatsApp calling. Google Meet. Skype. Oh, Skype real old boy, you know. Let's say Teams. That's the new Microsoft one. Zoom. FaceTime. Yeah. I'm just trying to fill up the space, really and truly. All I need is two line. Um, dog, if you put Discord, you're playing with fire, boy. You're playing with fire. Poor examiners going on how to Google what Discord is. Next thing you'll see, you know, they Google, like, they'll be like, Discord? Why this child writing about disharmony? Do they think that they're doing a Caribbean studies paper? Yeah, that's. I hope the examiners know what Discord is. But yes, Discord will count too because that uses voice of IP because of course you could chat and thing. Two, the quality, no, I know, use the quality as a disadvantage. Also another thing with boy boy, uh, the software is often free, free to use on most devices right because yeah most of the time it's free even though zoom is like 40 minutes but whatsapp calling facetime all them things those are free let's go with challenges now benefit this is benefits challenges um challenge number one the call quality can drop can drop if the connection is poor yeah we'll take that um was that connection over different geographic locations 
They don't really have benefit of our boy because they could use our normal telephone and connect over different locations. I wouldn't accept that. I doubt they will accept that. Like connecting over different locations. They, we had that already with telephone. They just had to pay. So yeah. Yeah, the challenge is call quality could drop and I don't know, you could get a soft answer, maybe kinda to say can be um given a cost sometimes sometimes yeah must have internet to be cool um yeah the quality could drop if the connection is poor right cool you can call our latency if you want uh, uh, uh. Dun, 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 dun. The following table contains various representations of the letters A to E. Wow. Oh, this whole confusing table to tell you to find a binary representation of G. Damn real wicked boy. Anyhow, A, B, C, D, E. Then you want to go F will be 70. G will be 71. So you're basically trying to convert 71 to binary. Um yeah E F G yeah. It's literally 71 in binary Wow man CXC Yeah We could do this so many ways we could take 71 and turn it into binary or we could take the hexa all the hexadecimal so the hexadecimal I'll do the 71 to binary which will be um Zero one zero zero zero. Are we adding to it? One one one. All right, so if you add three to binary, that was supposed to get. I mean, I really not gonna show you how to add binary. Do I really am I really going to do that? All right, let's add the binary. If E is 01000101 and you want to add 2 to it, 2 in binary is 10. So that will be 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1. In this next 0 will come down, the 0 will come down, the 0 will come down, this 1 will come down, and the 0 will come down. That is how you get. But it's really essentially 64 plus, oh, 64 plus. Or you can take the hexadecimal and say the 47 that 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0, and 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. Put them together and boom, you get. Or you can take the octal and put them into three bits at a time, which will be um, 1 will be yeah. This one is 8 bits, yeah? Yeah. Whichever way you do it, right? You could convert that however much ways you want, but it's only two marks. So I just do the binary one and the hexadecimal one because. You really had a fight down that. The, but this this makes me realize I had, I had to teach octal because I didn't teach octal when I was teaching this last year. I just teach decimal and binary and I probably touch on hexadecimal, but they probably want you to know octal. That means they could ask it, but I don't know. Now this year was the killer one. Not the killer one. Yeah. Everybody was asking me about this after the exam. Everybody was like, so what's the difference between binary and Morse code? And I was like, they ask that? You sure that is how they ask it? And it's like, yes, it's one outline one similarity and one difference between binary and Morse code. And I was like, bro, okay, let's see. So one similarity, similarity would be, I, I had to think about this long and hard when I was answering the student, because it was like, so what, what, what would be the answer? And I was like, I don't know. So one similarity is um, one. They both use single pieces of data to convey a signal. Example a tap or electrical pulse 
right? Because essentially our mouse code is mouse code is a bunch of taps, tap, 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 tap. But it's only one piece of data each time. It's either a tap or no tap. So that tap or no tap, same thing as binary where it's either on or off, on or off. So there's only one single piece of data that I could read. So that's a similarity. A difference would be Morse code uses multiple combinations to convey a convey a message while binary only has okay no i think i know what they want they want you to say that morse code uses three stable states dot dash and blank while binary uses two stable states on slash off yep if i were the examiner in cxc i like based on what i know about how these people have marked papers and how they create their examiner their, their their stuff i feel that's what they do I feel that's what they do of course there are other answers similarities would be that they both like you know they both have to be interpreted so yeah you'll get out um but it's kind of the same thing that i would have said you know single pieces of data to convey a signal so they are both happening you see given an example here make my life a little easier i'll be able to get you know a tap yeah examples would help and then i gave dot dash blank which will be three states and um binary will be two states yeah yep if anybody losing marks on this question it'll be here because i'm positive that they will have like a, um they will have a mark scheme looking for a particular statement which i feel is this one here i feel that that is what they're trying to get out of you and any examiners will have to quarrel to figure out if they give any mark or not or why they wouldn't give any mark or why they should not give the mark or that kind of thing yeah i feel that's what they'll do well that's module one there yeah, everything in module one was cake except for this Morse code thing. I'm positive that students will lose marks there. Positive. Let's move on to module two.